Hi, so my name is Javier Delator. I only have three minutes, so I'm going to be quick. So I'm the CEO of the company called, um, does this work? Sorry. Okay. Well, so we are a company uh, in, in Madrid and in New York uh, doing data analysis and data visualization. And, uh, there we go. Oh, now we went too fast. Okay, so and yesterday uh, we announced a new product called CartoDB, which is a geospatial database on the cloud that allows you to do data analysis and data visualization and build location aware applications much easier than it used to be. So some of the, so some of the, uh, this is our new website. Some of the visualizations that you can do, this one is, uh, is all the GPS traces from buses in New York. So you can handle large amounts of data and visualize them very easily on maps. Also, you can use it for more kind of different type of visualizations like this one that we've been working with Wall Street Journal on where is the money coming from in politics. So you can do this very flexible in the kind of the visualization that you can do. This is a, a map of all buildings in New York. So we handle large amounts of polygons. So this is for real estate. So you can do Clodopeth maps and things like that. And I want to highlight something that is what you've been hearing this uh, um, um, yeah, in this conference, a lot about OpenStreetMap, and you've heard about how to create your own tiles and how to create your own base maps, replace them from Google. But something that has not, I think, been enough stress is that one of the cool things about OpenStreetMap is that you actually have access to the data, which allows you to do much more than just burning tiles. So you can do analysis. Like, for example, these are all the roads in Madrid that are in OpenStreetMap's data now, and the color represents when they've been last edited. So you can really get a lot of information out of it. Uh, this is a little demo I just prepared about uh, this is in a New York Police Department data set on where they stop people. And they stop a lot of people in New York. It's, this is the data from 2010. And I'm here doing, just doing a count on how many, how many times they do it. And you can see it's almost one per second clockwise over the years. So I was very astonished about how many people they stopped. But you couldn't see it really on this map. So this is what I'm doing. It's intersecting it with the New York uh, districts and trying to find out how many, where, where actually those stops happening. So that it's starting to understand where is police really being more it's really pushing more. So what I'm doing here is running some, uh, some SQL on CartoDB. And right now, it's just updating the districts, counting, intersecting with the number of points. And finally, doing a visualization just by um, uh, doing a cloud path. And what you can see here is basically what we all knew is like Park Slope is a probably, I mean, you don't want to be stopped by police. You want to live on somewhere like that and not on Crown Heights. But this is kind of, I, that kind of highlights the kind of the visualizations that we're, uh, we, we hope people can build very easily. And this is all can be run through our API. So we have extensive documentation. And you can also uh, get a lot of examples. I just want to show you, uh, talk about briefly about one example. It's called a scene near me which in, uh, is an application that helps you find movies that have been recorded close to where you are. So you check in in Foursquare, and it tells you, hey, by the way, uh, taxi driver has been, uh, uh, has been recorded close to you. So that's the kind of uh, uh, mobile applications people are building right now on CarTV. This is an experiment. I don't know if you've seen the, the map uh, released by Google Maps, the 8-bit maps. So we said, like, yeah, we're going to do an 8-bit. So we said, like, well, Let's get the data and looking like if, if it's drawn like with a de, uh, with a pen. So this is OpenStreetMap and this is rendered on on the browser using HTML5 using our SQL API. So uh, the best of all this is that it's open source. So that means that we can offer you our services, but you actually can go download the code, adapt it, and use it the way you want. So I think this is very important. So the name is CartoDB. It was launched yesterday, and yeah, I hope you like it. Thank you very much.